Hello, I'm Eloise and this is my channel and today I've decided to test out the, where is it? I cannot find it on my desk, here it is. Primark My Perfect Colour Moisturising Foundation Stick, which is £2.50. So I have been on a little Primark haul and I've bought this foundation stick, the concealer stick to contour with, um, the priming oil, and also, what did I get? The Body Shimmer. So these are all the complexion products that I got from Primark. Altogether, it was under £15 for four products, which is incredible. I've done a wear test for you so you can see how the foundation wears on the skin, how long it lasts, what it looks like throughout the day. Um, so I've done it all for you. Um, I've been trying to try these Primark products for God knows how long, but I finally got my hands on them and I'm sure I will do some more Primark makeup because I'm poor from my last haul video. So, <laughs> so if you want to know how the foundation wears, how the contour stick, the oil and the body shimmer goes, then just keep watching. Okay, so I could not believe that this is £2.50. That's amazing. And also I just want to show you how much product you get. You get a lot of products in here. Let me grab my Revolution stick. Um, the Revolution foundation stick, again, is super, super cheap, it's five pounds. Um, but you get a lot more product in the Primark one. I believe you get about six, six grams in the Revolution one and you get 11 grams in the My Perfect Color Moisturizing Stick Foundation by Primark. It's two pound 50. I mean, this is still incredibly cheap. It's five pounds for a foundation stick which is lovely and nourishing on the skin. £2.50 for 11 grams, £5 for 6 grams. So yeah, that's what I'm going to test out today. I got the shade Cool Sand. Um, they don't really do testers in Primark, so I just sort of had to guess through the bottle, but looking at that, I think it's a really nice match. And I've used the Primark Nudes eyeshadow palette today as well and I will link down below the video so you can go and watch it. It's sort of like a back to basics eyeshadow look. Uh, check my description box down below and you'll be able to learn how I got this look and how to blend and how to get a wing and how to put lashes on. How many more times? Oh and how to see your brows as well. So yeah, anyway, sidetrack. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of this no filter priming oil by, um, not Instagram because it says yes Instagram on there, by Primark um, on as well. This foundation does give a buildable coverage, a velvet finish and it's got vitamin E in it. However, I wanted to try this oil out just because um, I'm a sucker for an oil. Anything that I can mix into my foundation, I'm all for. So I'm just going to put like, three drops on. That sounds like biscuit. And I'm just gonna blend that in before that drops into my eyebrow. It's really, really creamy formula. I feel like that is the perfect match for me. But of course, I'm gonna go in with the concealer stick um, to contour, just to warm up my skin a little bit, because you know I hate a matching foundation. <laughs> but I thought I would actually give this a wear test today because I actually want to see if I would be able to wear this and feel comfortable wearing this to maybe like an event or even to work where I'm just working long hours and yeah, just want to see how it wears basically. For £2.50 there's got to be a catch, right? <laughs> so. Look at my skin. That still gives a really nice sheen to the skin which I'm all about. I love a demi matte finish. Um, something's a little bit more velvety. Still, for, I would say it's full coverage. I wouldn't say it's buildable. Um, well, for me, it's full coverage. I don't really like a full, full coverage foundation anyway. Um, that's why I tend to mix in oils to full coverage foundations to sort of sheer them out a little bit. But that has come out really, really nice. So you can see it's masked all of my redness on my cheeks. It's pretty much done a good job of covering my under eye circles. Oh, I must mention as well, I did prep my skin with all my usual Kiehl's stuff, so the Retexturizing Plumping Serum, um, Daily Reviving Concentrate, and my Avocado Eye Cream. 
so I just wanted to give it a really nice fair test but that's a really nice match for me I think this was like the third lightest as I said in my last video um, I usually am like the third one along so I'm F3 in Revolution I'm 3N in True Match and um, by L'Oreal I'm 3.0 or 3.5 in all the Urban Decay foundations as well um, so that can give you a nice clear ind indication of what sort of colouring I am um, but yeah I'm really impressed with that I really like that coverage and the finish as well is beautiful and that blends it out seamlessly so I'm just going to quickly do the same on the other side for £2.50 I'm impressed and I've heard that Primark do a dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear for just £5 I've heard it's just as good so I'd like to put that to the test because I used to be a die hard double wear fan ok so now I'm going to um, go in with the My Perfect Colour Foundation Stick full coverage natural finish in the shade Caramel and I'm just going to add some definition and warmth to the skin well that blends very nicely that blends absolutely beautifully that warms the skin up really nicely I really like this colour actually I'm more about the cream bronze than the cream contour the difference very very flat very very bronzy yep fan I'm sold honestly oh also honestly guess how much this was go ahead guess how much you think it was it was 90p it was 90p what on earth is happening what is happening to the makeup world I am bloody loving it 90p for a contour stick where you get honestly so much product that will last me ages I swear so I'm gonna quickly do the rest of my face and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you a little lip duo that I got and also a uh, body shimmer, it's like a loose highlighting powder so I'm really excited to get my hands on that um, but yeah, I'll be back in a second okay, so I've done the rest of my face, I've done everything like normal um, so I've used my Naked Skin Concealer, I've used my Shape Shifter to Contour and I've used my NYX High Definition Blush in the shade Coraline give a blush of colour. For now I'm going to show you the Nudes Body Shimmer is all it's called. Uh, this was £4 and it's a really cool packaging. I love how square it is. So I'm just going to go in with an eyeshadow brush because obviously it's, it's a loose powder so I don't want it to go everywhere. I want it to be quite concentrated in the areas that I put it. So there's no way I'm going to my real, real Techniques brush. I'm going to go with this tiny little eyeshadow brush. So let's just pop this. Okay. Flies about everywhere. I've never had a loose highlighter before. Um, I associate them with the Artist Couture ones and the Kai ones. But for four pounds for this huge pot, you get. 11 grams in there. Bearing in mind it's a powder so it doesn't weigh very much. That beautiful. Oh girl! That's so pretty. Okay, gonna go down the old nose. Ooh. That's beautiful. That is a win from me. Okay, on to the lips. So I got this lip kit that is called a High Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Peanut Butter. Um, so I'm gonna try this out. I'm going to quickly line my lips. Mm. 
the nice creamy liner. It's much like the Urban um, Decay ones, where they're not wooden like the MAC ones, which I much prefer. Nice. Okay, now let's go for the lip gloss. Very shiny. Where's the shine at? Let's try and get some. Okay, that is not as shiny as I like it. It's because there's hardly anything coming out on the brush. I feel like the stopper is stopping way too much product. What the hell? I literally just jinxed it. The stopper has just come out. It's it's here. The stopper is here. Can you see that? What the hell? Oh. What comes out now? Oh, the stopper's back in. The stopper is back in. Okay, this is weird. It's like it new. It was like, you want more product? I'll give you more product. What? Right, let's, let's give me a bit more shine now. I feel like it's coming out patchy. Not that upset because it's only three pounds. Okay. So that is the finished look. So I've done the skin. And if you want to know how I got this eye look and how the Primark eyeshadow is performed, these are the shadows. Make sure you look down in the description box below and you can find the video on how to do your brows, how to blend like a pro, how to do a wing and how to put your eyelashes on all in one video. So yeah, make sure you check that out. I'm going to be back in a couple of hours to check in with the foundation and see how that wears and I shall see you very very shortly so it's been about five hours um, I am actually very impressed with how this has held up all I've done today to be fair is do some work and watch a lot of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 3 in fact I think I've watched about five episodes that would actually make sense yeah I've had some lunch yeah so I've got to up lipstick on our chin standard um the, the true test for me is whether it has sat in my laugh lines my forehead lines and my frown lines so let's further investigate shall we okay so very up close and personal right now um to be honest with you that is very very minor i don't know if you can see that Honestly, that's nothing. I've had far worse foundations sit in my lines, so that I'm not angry at at all. I haven't got any of my teeth on my lunch. <laughs> um, it's looking a tiny bit cakey, just around here, but lately my foundation's not been sitting around here properly anyway. Um, it's sort of been separating throughout the day, so that's honestly nothing it has sat in my lines ever so slightly here and ever so slightly around my mouth but I'm not mad at it honestly it looks really really nice still all I would have to do is just grab my sponge just tap it back into place and that's absolutely fine let's see me back out I think we've had enough of staring at my face for a little sec Skin looks really really nice I'm actually really really shocked it's £2.50 and after five hours it looks like this oh, I honestly kid you not I'm I'm really a fan anyway so yeah that's my little check-in um, I hope you enjoyed this wear test I've got L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Stick in the bank ready to go, so let me know in the comments below. <laughs> if you want me to review it and do a wear test on it. 
This was me testing out Primark products and it's absolutely Eloise approved. Make sure you subscribe and I'll get jazz. I'm Eloise, this is my channel and I hope you enjoyed and learned something new and I'll see you in the next one.